Hi, welcome to Sean's Kitchen. For many more interesting recipes, I'd request you to please click on the subscribe button. For today's recipe, I'm going to take 500 grams of skinless chicken. For the marination, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of coriander powder. You can then add some salt as per taste. Here I'm adding about 1 teaspoon of salt. I'm going to then lastly add about 3 tablespoons of curd. After adding the curd, I'm going to mix this well. After mixing this well, I'm now going to leave this for marination for about 30 minutes. While the chicken marinates, I'm going to take another pan and add 2 tablespoons of butter to it. After adding the butter, here I've added about 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm then going to add 2 cardamoms. Along with that, 3 cloves. 1 cinnamon stick. 6 garlic cloves. 2 green chilies. About half an onion. Medium sized tomatoes. Here I've diced the tomatoes. I'm then going to mix this well. After mixing it, I'm then going to add 15 cashew nuts. A few of the spices here are optional, but when it comes to the cashew nut, it's one of the main ingredients and the dish will not come out well without it. Once it starts boiling and you've mixed it well, you can now add 2 teaspoons of red chili powder. After adding the red chilli powder, you can mix it and then cover it with a lid and let it cook on low flame for 6 minutes. After 6 minutes, I've now removed the lid. I'm now going to switch off the flame and let it cool down. After it cools down, I'm now going to grind it into a paste. I'm going to add very little water here and grind it. As you can see here after grinding it, the paste is not too fine nor too thick. I'm going to strain and keep the paste aside. And I'm going to take the pan and add 2 tablespoons of butter to it. Along with that, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of oil. I'm then going to add the marinated chicken. After adding the marinated chicken, I'm going to let it fry well on medium flame for 6 to 7 minutes. I'm going to let it cook while covering it with the lid. After frying it for 6 minutes, I'm now going to add the blended paste. After adding the gravy, I'm going to mix it with the chicken. After about a minute, you would have noticed that the chicken has coated well with the gravy. At this point of time, you can add very little water to it. And then mix it with the dish. I'm then going to add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder to it. You can also then add some crushed fenugreek leaves which is optional. I'm now going to add about half a tablespoon of cream. After adding the cream, I'm going to mix it well with the dish. After letting it cook with the cream for about 1 minute, I'm now going to switch off the flame. And your dish is ready to be served. So if you did like this recipe, I'd request you to please click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.